Hi, this is Jason Filter, and I wanted to show you how I trade what I like to call 10x trading. It's basically how you can take a scalping trade and turn it into 10 times as many pips as you would pull out in a normal scalp of 10 to 15 pips. It's basically how to move your trades from a 10 pip to a 100 pip profit. Now, uh, what I like to do, I'm going to show you kind of what I do. Um, what I like to do, you put basically find areas of support and resistance. Now support is when the market moves lower and then finds an area, typically not a price, but an area uh, that it tests. You can see that the price has tested here and here and then over here as well. Basically a price that it's visited more than once. And these are clearly defined through time. I like going back about four days or five days. You can see that the market tested, tested this particular price several times once once right here, and then once here, and then once here. So it tested it three times before it actually broke out to the upside. You can see that this area was tested as well as it came down. So these areas of support and resistance, you can go back in time uh, bef you know, before the session you're looking at and kind of peg these areas of support and resistance. And it really helps you define where you could potentially scalp the market. So as we move forward here, we have several areas that um, of support and resistance that we're going to look at prior to scalping the market. Now, once you've identified your support and resistance areas, and you actually start to uh, look at the market, you know, if we were going to scalp this session, which I haven't drawn any support and resistance lines on, at that point we would look. Okay, where are the holes? Where are the where are the potential opportunities? Well, I do see we opened right here. Kind of in between the middle of an opportunity, we have the 93.78 level and we have the 93.63 level. So this is a potential of 15 pips. I like to get at least 10. That's a really good area. This one's pretty close together. I don't know if I would try to scalp that. They're probably a little close together. Uh, this move from 93.63 down to 93.31 is a little bit larger move. I'd probably look to scalp this area right here. Look to enter here and look to exit here. So when you're looking at the market, the market starts there, it fluctuates a little bit, comes up, kind of tests it here and pulls back and then moves lower again. Well, if you have your entry and you go ahead and sell short, of course your stop loss is going to be up in this area, maybe above the previous uh, resistance area would be wise. So if the market pulls back, uh, to that point and then moves lower you can be in profit or won't be stopped out but uh, you can see it very quickly move those 15 pips all in one bar boom you're done you're out of the scalp and that's great that's a great way to scalp the market now the way you can trade it to where you can get 10 times as much is to go ahead and trail your stop down the way you do that is when you enter and where you have a potential exit you don't uh, you basically don't move your stop down until you close below the next area of support. So it, sometimes it tests it and pulls back. You actually don't move your stop loss until you've closed below it. So if we had our stop loss here, we enter at this point, go ahead and sell short. We would exit here normally, but we didn't because we're going to turn this trade from a scalp into a much larger trade. So we wait for it to break down, close below our next area of support, which it does. So we move our stop from this point down to this point. And then we wait for it to break down again to the below the next area of support, which it does here. So we go ahead and move our stop loss here. Now we've locked in some serious profit and we're basically uh, at where we would have exited the trade originally. But it doesn't end there. If you continue on with this and take a look, you can see that there's an area of support that is generated right here and you can look for this area of support and when it's generated go ahead and drop a line there so that you'll know when it's broken you can see that it did get broken right here price broke through it right here so at that point once it closed below it you would want to move your stop further down basically to basically down to this point right here locking in even more profit. Remember, we got in at the 93.78, so you're literally locking in profit all the way down. Well, here's another level of support that gets broken through. 
So at that point, you're right about here. And once you close blow it, which we do in this bar, you're going to move your stop loss once again further down. And then basically what you want to do is trail this line down until the market pulls back as it did right here and stop you out. Now let's take a look at what that actually looks like from a pip standpoint of where you could get in and where you get out. Now our entry, remember, is up here and you follow that on down. This is our normal scalp of 14, 15 pips. That's what's typical. But if you're going to trade you know, the 10x trading method, you just trail your stop on down and you literally could grab 75 pips on that move instead of just grabbing 15. Now let me show you how I trade the 10x method using my Delphi scalper system. Basically I have this system that lets me know exactly which pairs I should be scalping, it lets me know which currencies are strengthening, which ones are weakening, which gives me the pair I should be trading. I know from my blue box what time frame I should be trading, what time of day I should be trading. And then I have red arrows uh, and green arrows that are produced basically to let me know I'm on the right side of the technical market. They do appear real time. And I also have the, the very important uh, significant support and resistance lines indicated by green and red arrows. So if you notice here, I have not only am I in the right time to trade, I know I'm on the right pair for my currency strength indicator, and I have a technical red arrow basically indicating that I'm on the right side of the market. And I also have a line at 93.90 that lets me know that is where historical support is and I should enter the market. Well, a quick scalp would be down here to 93.77. So it's real close to some of the lines we looked at earlier. You come on down, 93.62 was one we looked at earlier. So this little scalp here would be 13 pips worth of movement. And I could get out and go about my day, but if I want to turn this into you know, 80, 90, 100 pips more, I'm going to need to trail this on down. And that's exactly what we do. Now as it comes down here, I'm going to trail it down. Pull back, not quite stopped me out. And then we're looking for a break basically below this support line happens here. So we'd move our stop loss once again. So you just continually move your stop loss as these areas of key support are broken through and closed below. Then that's when you look to move your stop loss. So it comes on down here. Market closes below 93.20. So we go ahead and move our stop loss to here. And let me scroll the chart over just to show you kind of what happens as this trade develops. So we get a close below this line, that support line. So we move our stop loss here. The market moves sideways for a good while. It moves lower. And at this point, uh, we have a support line here and a support line here. It closes below this support line on this bar. We move our stop loss to here. Okay, and it actually, we move it on down from here further all the way down to the 92.94 price point because we closed if you look right if you look close we closed below or right at the support line the next support line down so we're going to go ahead and move that stop loss now the very next bar it did pull back and stop us out but the key thing to remember here and let me go ahead and zoom out so you can see this a little bit better is we took a 13 pip move what would normally be a 13 pip profit and turn that into a 96 pip profit so using the 10x trading method really allows you to go in and grab pips but not only grab pips but go to break even so it's risk free and then be able to really expand that trade from you know basically 10 times as much to 80 90 100 pips sometimes even as much as 150 200 pips times what you normally would have gone for now if you uh, if you don't want to work with all these lines, this is kind of an advanced mode. I do use an easier mode. It gets rid of all the lines, and you can just scalp the market, go for those 13 pips right there, and be in and out of the market quickly. Of course, this version, you still know when you should be trading. You still have the technicals indicating when to trade. You still know which currencies you should be trading in, and it still gives you the ideal entry 
which is predefined prior to the trade and the ideal exit prior to the trade for scalping. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Delphi Scalper, go ahead and register for our webinar. And on our webinar, I'm going to be covering exactly how we get these lines, what the currency strength indicator is all about, why we want to know when the U.S. is strengthening and when the Japanese yen is weakening or vice versa, how we get the blue box that we, that we use to trade in and why, and also the technicals. We're going to talk about which indicators we use to generate the technicals, talk about the arrows, how they appear in real time, and why it keeps us on the right side of the market. And also, we're going to talk about support and resistance lines, which I've covered a little bit already today, but how it allows you to know exactly where you're going to enter the trade and exactly when you're going to exit the trade prior to even getting into the market. So if you want to learn more about the Delphi Scalper, go ahead and register for our webinar.